Your first period is set to go. Don't you just love playoff hockey? Listen to this place. Let's get after it. Fires it. Take hard work in the intangibles and get available for a one-timer in that low slot area. You know it's going to be a grind. You're going to have to fight for your space. He does a great job of it and buries at home. Vancouver's aggressive start has led to a quick lead in this one. Yeah, urgency, fast feet, and aggressive. And because of it, they're rewarded with that early goal. And they grab possession of the puck after that center ice face-off. And he uses his reach to disrupt the play. Angles it over to Hironic. Knocked away. Fabros taking it from his own end. Dumps it into the ozone. Quick feed to Suter. Takes the puck at the point. The Predators gain possession in their own end. All alone! Oh, and I think he got confused what he was going to do there. You can see him looking at the goaltender, whether he's going to shoot or deke, and while he's thinking, he's running out of real estate. Oh, and that's poked away in the offensive zone by Pedersen. Slides it up ahead from the right wing. He's got a step. Oh, the eyes on the play. Uh, and this is a great play by the tender to anticipate and get across to make that save. Worked in traffic. got him back in to make it. Lots of hockey left to be played in this period. The Canucks have taken a 1-0 lead. Vancouver's won the draw. Now let's see what they can do with it. Saros has dialed in. There's no question about it after that last save. He defined that puck in desperation and how that athleticism to be able to get to it. I don't even know how he got to that puck. Vancouver's got it along the wall. Prince it and it, and he comes up with it. In front of the net, the goal Tender covers up for a whistle on the play. The Predators come up with the defensive zone draw. Oh, the save! He stopped it! Wow! Well, that's an intangible effort that you can't teach, James. That's all about desperation and the will to stop that puck. Unloads from the blue line. for a solid hit. And a delayed penalty coming up as he got tripped up. Let's see what the official says here. Trillin's going to the box for tripping. Vancouver's man advantage unit will take to the ice for the first time tonight. An opportunity on their first power play of the game, James. And this is an opportunity to look at the coverage as well, see how they're playing it, whether they're going to be aggressive or sit back. Here's a chance to clear the puck from his own end. Keeps possession on the play. Moves it quickly over to Holtlander. Too much congestion blocks the shot. And they manage to clear it. Poked away at center by Holtlander. Handles the puck. Moves it to Besser. time left in this period. Vancouver's been the better team here over the last few minutes, increasing their lead to two. And they've got the puck after that neutral zone faceoff. Centering pass! And that stopped! Fabros letting the puck. Gaining momentum in the offensive end. Slouches him into the boards. He knew it 
exactly what he was doing with that hit this early in the game. He's trying to send a message and dictate the pace. Looks like there's a delayed penalty being called here by the officials. Whistle blows, stopping the play. Forsberg's going off for elbowing. The Canucks send their men advantage unit out once more. Well, they've already scored tonight on the PP, James, and looking to really thread the needle again on this one. Their movement, their adjustments have been excellent thus far. Nice play, shorthanded as they get control of the puck. Grabs control of it at the point. Oh, what a stop by Saros. Can't hang on to the biscuit after that. Gets it out of his own end. Grabs the puck and moves on out here with this man advantage. Poked away in the neutral zone by Shen. The Canucks get a hold of the puck. Oh, they get all of it, but just enough to keep it out of the net. The shot's come from the middle of the ice, and he hit has some heat on it, but he's ready and waiting for it. He's to position, and he makes the save. Here's a short pass to Heronic. My goodness, the pressure really building here in the offensive end. Can they capitalize on this power play? Here comes the faceoff. Vancouver's got it in the offensive zone. Delayed penalty looming. Knocked away by Hurley. There's the whistle, and here's the call. Running interference plays as part of the game, but you can't impede the forward progress of your opponent. That's a two minutes interference call. A nice little break for the defenseman here. One less forward to deal with as we have some four-on-four -four hockey on tap. Well, four-on-four -four is similar to three-on-three. -three. There's more ice available, and you can't just dump it in. You want to possess the puck and try and create numbers around the ice. That's two-on-ones all over. Tries to dangle, and the puck skips away. Stopped by the goaltender getting a piece of that one. He's able to make a clean save on that wrister, James. A quick-release shot, and he's square to it. The Predators, from their own end, will go for a quick change here. Gains the zone through center. Quick pass to Forsberg. Beats the goalie, but can't beat the post. Demko's going to slow it down here and hang on for the whistle. Well, a good decision right there to dictate the tempo of the game, especially when he hasn't been busy. He's engaging right now. Bluger's gliding in for the face-off as this penalty kill will continue. And they keep the pressure on. Rips it, gets a piece of it to keep it out. They get it out of the defensive end. Intercepts it at center. The Predators gain possession. Lindholm's almost back on the ice. The Predators hits it, he scores! The shooter shows good patience on this shot, James, just waiting for the goaltender to drop. Once he does and he drops into that butterfly position, there's enough for him upstairs to be able to beat him. The Predators have jumped right back into this one as they finally respond. Well, they clawed their way back to within one, and this is the counter that a coach and the team is looking for. You want to put your opponent on their heels, and they've got them there now. Slides in off the wing after the centerman tied him up. Oh, he hit him and caught all of it. Oh, and that's a tough one, James. You're along the boards. They don't have a lot of give. What that means, you're feeling it all. Comes up with the stop. Vancouver's gained possession along the boards. He says, let's get physical on that play. Big time stop. Tremendous pressure here on the offensive end. Vancouver's moving it into the offensive end. the midway mark of the frame. The Predators make their way back into the face-off circle, still in search of another goal. Chance on the deflection, and he turns that one aside. 
Oh, the sauce on that pass. And he'll hang on to the puck for a much-needed whistle. Well, and this is huge, James. The ability to slow the game down, get a line change. There's no one happier than the coach right now. Yossi's wheel zone ability means he can move past everyone with his great skating speed. Hughes can steady the blue line for his team while also contributing points. I'm expecting one of these two players to give their team the edge tonight, guys. Back to you. Picked up along the wall by Evangelista. Oh, what a save on the play! Oh, such an athletic save, James. I mean, that's just all about completing, finding a way to get to the puck. I really want to look at this last save again, James, because this is about taking it to the next level when you have this level of competitiveness, athleticism, and desperation and urgency in your game. You know that goaltending coach, they can't just teach this. This is instinctual, and this is what winners are made of. Vancouver's opened things up here in the first as a result of their offense tonight. The Predators will go to work here in the offensive zone. Takes the feet at the back end. The Canucks get a hold of the puck in their own end. Gains the zone on the left wing. Quick feed! He scores! Brock Besser steps up big time! And I really like the way they move the puck around to wait for the right time to be able to move that puck for the one-timer in that low slot area. He didn't have much time to get it off, but he got some wood on it and buried it. Vancouver's on a mission tonight. Boy, did they look dialed in. They look dialed in, and they look fast. There's so much motion. Everyone is moving, and when they're moving, they're disrupting coverage and giving themselves lots of looks at the net, and they've been rewarded with a couple goals. Friedman's got the puck. Quick feed to Yossi. Gain momentum up along the side. Inside the offensive zone. Great reach with the puck check by Yossi. And he takes the dish. The Canucks have it in the offensive end. The Predators have it now. Slides the puck ahead to Glass. And he's pulled over to the ice and loses the puck. Garland's picking up momentum through center. Feeds the puck over. Reaches out and uses the stick. Nice zone entry from the middle. Here's a chance. Here's the score. Johnny on the spot. He tucks in the rebound. That's what you call taking advantage of a fortuitous rebound, and you have to be able to smell it and sniff it out because he has great hand-eye coordination to be able to pick that one up and put it in the back of the net. Nashville's got to be feeling good after getting that one, Cheryl. But well, they're certainly feeling good about themselves now, James. The body language has changed. They're on their toes. The confidence is lifted. Some much-needed offense to get them within one. Novak's won the draw here in the open ice. The Predators take it along the wall. The Canucks gain control of the puck. From his own end, he picks up the puck and tries to make a diagonal pass to Suter. Uses the force on that hit. And he takes the feed. Moves the puck to Carrier. Great poke check on the reach. Shot in front. And that's blocked away. Takes the pass. Vancouver's got the puck along the wall. Saros hangs on to the puck to stop the play. The Canucks have had multiple scoring opportunities here in this first and could easily have a much bigger lead. The Predators get a hold of the puck in their own end. Scooped up along the wall by Smith. Long reach breaks up the momentum. And that's off target as it hits a body. Tender hangs on for the whistle. Late goings of this period. Nashville still down a goal here, but they have really picked up the tempo these last few minutes. And off the draw, they'll take possession. The Predators play it along the boards. Throws it in. Moves it quickly over to Lafferty. The Predators have a hold of it in the defensive zone. Looks to pass it to Zadora. Vancouver's got it across the line. Sorry for stepping on your toes, James, but that was a huge hit behind the play. 
The Canucks get a hold of the puck along the boards. Let's it go! Gives a piece of it and will play on. saves guys his post-to-post -post zone ability allows him to move laterally to shut down those chances and it's something you should watch out for in this one knife with skating momentum tries to feed it over to scores and we are tied new game here pounder oh yeah it's a new game james ah uh, but i really like the pushback to get the equalizer and now it's what they do with that momentum this next shift it's critical well, it looks like they've reset the table. I mean, didn't get the start that they wanted, found themselves behind the eight ball, but it's amazing, James. It's an old cliche, but the game is never over until it's over. Officials getting ready to drop the puck. Puck possession, so key in today's game. O'Reilly's won the draw. Takes it and looks ahead. I don't think anybody was hanging on to the puck after that hit. With possession along the wall. Oh, what a save by Saros. And the traffic jam in front blocks the shot. O'Reilly's got the puck along the wing. Oh, those boards rattled after that hit. Wow. And he's rattled as well, James. I mean, we knew that hit was coming, and then all of a sudden, bell, and he's down for the count. Both sides mixed up for that battle for the puck along the wall. Grabbed along the boards by Forsberg. Moves the puck to the attacking area. Takes the shot, and there's the save. Goaltender covers it up. We get a whistle to slow things down. Here in the late goings of the period, we are all tied up in this one. The Predators take possession here inside the offensive zone. Nashville's got a hold of it along the wall. Picked up along the boards by Pedersen. Regroups with the puck back inside the D zone. Can't keep a hold of it. Oh, he'll feel that one. Centering pass! And that's intercepted! Good heads up defensive play as he extends the stick. Oh, that's a good hit. Tries to get the puck to Garland. Great defensive effort with the stick. The Predators will play it in their own end. Tenacious battle for the puck along the wall. Well, fun start to this one as period number one comes to an end. We've still got lots more still in store. Kids are coming out on the ice here to play the little mini prospects game. And we'll be back with more now. one play. What do you make of this one? Saros is making a ton of saves to keep this game tied, and his team in front of him need to get the pucks on retrieval and get heading north. they got to help him out of it. There's the whistle. We'll get a face-off after the goalie covers up. Lots of time left in this period. The next goal could be a big one as we are tied. Vancouver's got it, and they're on the attack. Gets a glove on it to make the save. There's the whistle as the puck is frozen up. Both teams are set. They're ready to drop the puck. And they win the draw here in their own end. Now a quick pass to Forsberg. Can't keep a hold of the puck after that play. Moves it to Pedersen. Feeds the puck over to Suter. He got all of that hit on the play. 
Here's a short pass to O'Reilly. Change up for Mark. A chance in front. And he throws it wide of the net. Oh, this is a tough game, and you got to fight for your scoring chances, James. And this just seems like a waste when he misses wide. When the puck's in the low slot, the goaltender gets right out next to the shooter and makes the save. Puck is dropped and he wins the draw here in the defensive zone. Along the right wall and into the offensive end. Denies him! Denies him again! And the puck stopper hangs on to get a breather here for the team. Vancouver's won the defensive zone draw. Good fight for the puck along the boards. Takes a bump and loses control of the puck. Takes the feed. Quick pass to Glass. The Predators move the puck in the defensive zone. Vancouver's looking to break out of their own end. Besser's got it against the boards. Oh, spectacular save right there. Wow. Unbelievable. I mean, it was all but in, and he steals it because of that last-ditch attempt to find the puck. Just incredible save, James. The Canucks are getting two minutes for tripping. Another power play opportunity coming up here. When the power play isn't working, you have to adjust. You gotta get net front presence, take away the eyes of the goaltender. And what it does is it also draws defensive coverage to you. More traffic in front, more lanes open for the shooter. Demko's not phased by most wrist shots, guys. He can read the release so well and catch up to them to make the stop. That's his light work zone ability, and shooters will really need to try to get creative if they want to put one past him. The Predators play the left away. Oh, they do it again! A nice save that he didn't have trouble with James as he's able to read that quick release shot. Oh, but it stays out! He got a piece of that one! I really like this save, James, because he challenges the shooter who's all alone in the slot area. He turns aside a real dangerous opportunity. Nashville's on the attack. Quick feed to Nyfist. And he takes a shot, makes the save. And the puck leaves the zone. Slides it across to Nyfist. And that's broken up in the defensive zone by Zadorov. They'll want to clear the zone here while they're trying to kill off this penalty. Nice job to escape the zone. Moves it quickly over to Nyfist. The so Canucks get the job done shorthanded. We are still tied here. Well, a really nice job by this PK unit, James, just negating scoring opportunities. Good goaltending as well. Got to be your best killer, but finding ways to get it down the ice and keeping this game tied. Take it along the wall by Cole. Nashville's scores! Rips it off the pipe and into the net. Wow! He almost needed a double take there, James. When you hear that sound, sometimes you think it's out, but this one goes in. You never want to see yourself on that screen in the video room on a goal, James. There's been a defensive error, and then you get caught covering up, and everyone gets caught out of position. As a result, it's in the back of your net. The Predators, through their hard work and tenacity, have taken a one-goal lead here in the second. It's certainly better to play with the lead, James, but you know that there's a lot of runway left, and your opponent is going to come pushing and pressing. This game has been tight all the way around, and I expect that it will continue to be. Goaltender covers up. We got a stoppage in play. Inching closer to the midway mark of the period. The Predators have taken the lead here over the last few minutes. They'd love to build on it. Vancouver's going to start with the puck inside the offensive zone. And he shut the door on that last play. Moves it to Cole. Pass back to the point. Across to Besser. My goodness. 
witness the pressure really building here in the offensive end. Here's a textbook body check. Carrying it, looking. They have really got the cycle going now. Here's a hit. On the outside to Cole. Another feed. Again, James, it is absolutely incredible and so impressive to see a goaltender just out battle and out will his opponent to find the puck. Well, lining up here for the face off after a great shift there, Cheryl. Yeah, in the offensive zone, they have all the momentum. Would be surprised to see a little stall at the face off here to give their goaltender a little extra breather because he has been under siege and you can see it on his face. He needs some rest. Takes it into the slot. possession. Hughes carries the puck in his own zone. Slides it diagonally to Pedersen. Shuts the door with a great save. Saros has it and freezes the play. The Canucks trail here in period number two, but it hasn't been for a lack of effort. All sorts of scoring chances. Off the draw, they take possession. Here's a short pass to Nyfist. And the pass is redirected. Vancouver's got the puck against the half wall. Steps inside the attacking zone down the left wing. You break away. Oh, it just kind of muffles that one. Well, he muffles it because he's in tight. When you're in tight, you run out of room and you run out of option as well. You've got to find a way to get the puck to the net. Nice zone entry from the right side. Here's a chance in front, but it doesn't connect. Steps into the offensive end. The Canucks have it behind the net. Puck battle along the boards. The Canucks have it against the wall. Pedersen's been a workhorse tonight, James, and there's just another example of it, and the entire bench knows that they're invigorated by it. I mean, he's on his way down, he's stumbling, and he manages to find the puck and get a shot on net. That's tenacity at its best. More than half the frame has been played here. The Predators lead it 4-3. Nashville's won the draw inside the offensive zone. Now let's see what they can do with it. There's a shot. That's blocked by Demko. There's the whistle as the goalie hangs on. Both teams gliding into position and the official set to drop the puck. Blugers won it off the faceoff. Feeds the puck to Di Giuseppe. The Canucks looking against the half wall. Sutter and And he shuts down a great scoring chance there. And there's another penalty call against the home team. These fans are frustrated. Cheryl, I think these calls are legit. I just think that the fans are wondering, what about the other side here? Well, yeah, they got to be expecting to get one soon here as it is one-sided. And it's so hard team to get into the game when there's no flow because you keep raiding yourself to the box. The Predators once again send out their power play unit. They haven't scored on the power play yet, but they have another opportunity. The key to this one, gain possession so they can set up. Zadorov's got it in the defensive end. And they get that puck down the ice. Quick pass to Sissons. Picking up momentum across the zone here on the right side. Sends the pass over. And that doesn't reach the net. Quick feed to Pedersen. And there's the save on the play. Sends a pass over. And now he moves it quickly. All alone! Oh, beautiful suit in the play! And you gotta love these one-on-one -on -one battles. In particular, the goaltender so aggressive. Tracks the puck and makes the save. Bluger's ready for the draw as they continue to be shorthanded here. Puck is dropped, and we are back underway. Can't stay on his feet after that hit. Picked up along the wall by Evangelista. The Canucks have it now. Nashville's got the puck here in the open ice. Quick pass across to Evangelista. Now he takes it over the line. Fires it into the offensive zone. Moves it quickly over to Sissons. 
Vancouver's PK unit comes up big as both sides are back to even strength. Denied that one. Well, that power play needs to have more urgency. All perimeter movement. Someone has to pay the price and get to the most coveted spot on the... Big top save! Oh, my goodness! Well, throw technique out the window. This time, it's all about the competitive will to get to that puck. And that's off a stick. And that's knocked away by Sherwood. Goaltender covers up and will get a face-off. Vancouver's trailing at the midway mark of this one, but it's not for a lack of scoring chances. All sorts of shots, just no finish. Miller's won it in their own end. Oh, great use of the body on the play. Vancouver's got the puck against the boards. McDonough's been brought down, and we're going to get a penalty here. And there's the whistle stopping the play. This is a tough situation to be in. You're frustrated. You've taken your third penalty of the period. you got to kill it, reset, and find a way to push on. been good tonight it can be very frustrating but you have to reset refocus because even if you don't score it can create some much needed momentum takes the feed centering in front can't connect the play play blown dead let's get the call the predators have been handed a two-minute penalty for tripping to drop we've got some four on four coming up well four on four is similar to three on three there's more ice available and you can't just dump it in you want to possess the puck and try and create numbers around the ice that's two on ones all over oh they go back on offense big save by the goaltender watching that one Fabro stick handling in his own zone here they come on the attack nice possession of the puck They used their speed on this counter-attack and gave themselves an odd man advantage here, James. And what they did was they capitalized. They had multiple looks. They could pass it. They could shoot it. Goaltender couldn't figure it out, and it winds up in the back of the net. The Predators have extended their lead to two here in the late goings of the second. And they need to stay focused right through this second period. Listen, they've had an outstanding first two periods, and they have to finish strong to get to the intermission and reset the tone in the third. Solid check to slow down. Cuffs up possession of the puck. Scooped up along the wall by Suter. Puts it on net. Oh, saved by Suter. Takes the bump but still hangs on to the puck. Slides it quickly to class. Finds nothing but air on that shot. And some textbook body contact there. Moves it to Suter. Great save by Suter. Grabs the puck here in their own end. And they clear that puck. The Canucks don't have time on their side with this power play running out. And the power play comes up empty. Both teams back to even strength. Nashville's gained possession. Referee's hand shoots high in the air. Looks like we got a tripping penalty coming up. Nice speed from the left side up the middle. Oh, great read as he pokes it away. Let's see what the officials say. Sometimes it's just a product of keeping your feet moving, and when you reach and you take your opponent's feet out, you're going to get the two minutes for tripping. Pedersen's got that zone ability that can help him generate some chances, guys. With the team trailing here, let's look to him to try to make a difference for them. The frozen disc gets dropped, and we're back underway here. is cleared out of the defensive zone. The Canucks gain possession along the wall. On the attack along the boards. Saros has the puck and holds on for a whistle. Forsberg's recognizing they're still shorthanded here as they get ready for the faceoff. 
And they win the offensive zone faceoff, and here we go. Answers the call on that play. Does a great job with some great pushes to get to the top of his crease and make the save from a high danger area. Shen's tripped up by the official's hand is in the air, singling penalty. They got to put a pin in the penalty balloon here, James. Them frustrating calls, no question about it. They got to figure out a way to control their emotion and get back in this game. to period number two and there's still 20 more minutes of action to go here in regulation third period don't go anywhere feeling hungry try our arena restaurant for gourmet dining with great views of the action or get a light meal at one of our many grill locations on the concourse Period number three just moments away as the official signals both teams into position. The Predators' power play continues to start the frame and they win the draw. Vancouver's penalty killers get a hold of it. Here's a shot blocked in traffic. Here's a chance, sends it in front. Great defensive play to pick off the pass. Quick pass to O'Reilly. Suitors almost ready to get back on the ice. Vancouver's back to even strength as they killed off the penalty. On any team, you have to have players who are willing to buy in and execute on their role. And this team, this PK unit, certainly delivering in that area. Each player knows exactly what they have to do. They're getting out there. They're doing it. Makes it move in front, and he rings the post. The Predators get some emotion from the bench as they look to extend their lead and hit the post and out. Everyone thought it might have gone in, and then they realized it didn't. This is a frustrating situation, James, just taking a whack load of penalties and really unable to get any momentum in this game because they're shorthanded the whole time. The Predators send their man advantage unit out once more. They haven't scored on their power play yet. They've earned this opportunity. They'll get another look at it, looking for different adjustments to be made. Save it up, you. Well, he knew where this puck was going. He's got a hook on the shooter, James, and he gets square in front. Great position and makes the save. The Canucks play it along the boards. Quick feed to Sherwood. And he handles the cross-ice pass. In close! Oh, he'd like to have that one back as it goes off the side. Hockey is a game of inches, and you know these athletes take so many shots on net and practice. And in this one, over-rotate, under-rotate, but nonetheless, misses the net. Poked away at center by Cole. Scrum on the boards. The Predators gain control of the puck against the wall. And it's a quick pass to Fabro. Can't get it to go. And makes the save. There's the whistle as the puck stopper elects to hang on. O'Reilly's ready to take the draw here on this power play. The Canucks win the draw. Vancouver's got a hold of the puck. And now they look to make something happen from the neutral zone. And time expires on the power play. Both teams back to even. That's another great job on the PK, James, knowing exactly where to be at the right times and knowing what your opponent is thinking. And real effective job there. Vancouver's played well tonight, but they still trail here early in this third period despite leading in the shot department. And off the draw, they'll take possession. Great forecheck by O'Reilly. Saros 
has been really focused in the crease tonight. You can tell that he's tracking the puck with ease and comfort. But his team is playing really well in front of him as well. They're gaining confidence off of his saves, and they're creating opportunities in the offensive zone. We're still in the early stages of this period. Up to eight goals scored so far tonight. It's 5-3. The Predators win the draw, and they go on the attack here in the offensive zone. Scrum along the boards as they battle for the puck. Nashville's got a hold of the puck now. And he loses both the puck and his balance after that hit. Passes it to Heronic. Centering feed. And that's off target. And he slides it quickly to Besser. Sets the pass in front. And he denies that great opportunity there. Moves it quickly over to Forsberg. Stickens, that one. Nashville's got it in their own zone. Here's a short pass to Heronic. Loses possession after he takes a little hit. Nashville's moving the puck through center ice. Quick pass to Besser. Pucks it away in his own end. Along the wing up the neutral zone. Moves inside! Good feed to McDonough. Oh, a clutch save! Oh, spectacular save on the play! I'm not sure where the defense is, but I'll tell you what, the goaltender has been outstanding, made a flurry of saves to keep his team in this one. Streaking through center, they go on the attack. Swatted away with the stick in the defensive zone. And just like that, from out of nowhere, comes up with the puck. Jankowski's got it along the wing. Oh, he got all of that. What a save by Demko. The goaltenders are the last line of defense for a reason. And this time, he bails his team out. The Canucks have the advantage in shots tonight, but they still find themselves trailing here in the third period. Vancouver's going to start with the puck in their own end. Slides it quickly to Carrier. McCarran's got the puck from the back end. Moves it quickly over to the side. And that goes off a body. Sends it in front. Oh, he comes up with a stop. And the goaltender grabs that one for a whistle to try to slow things down here. Getting closer to the halfway point of this frame. 5-3 is where we sit. The Canucks win the defensive zone faceoff. From the left side, he moves it up ahead. Great use of the stick in the defensive end by Carrier. Forsberg's moving it ahead. O'Reilly's been tripped up, and we got a penalty coming up here. And let's see what the definitive call is on the ice. And yet another penalty is called, so out comes the PK unit. And you know what? They are taxed. They are worn down. If this continues, it's all going to backfire. Get them within 
game, too, in this two-goal deficit, it almost feels like there's a little hope now in the game, and if they can get one more, you'll recognize that the momentum will completely shift. Well, that puck is on and off his stick in a hurry, and it needs to be from that low zone slot area. James just beats the goaltender because it gets off his stick so fast. The Canucks have to find a way to get a couple more here if they want to try to salvage this one. Taking calculated risks, James, and jumping into the attack and pressing upwards. Now, you may give up some opportunities the other way, but you got to go for it. And now it's grabbed by Yossi. Sends it in deep. The Canucks gain possession. What an entertaining game, James. A lot of goal calls for you as it's been back and forth action in the offensive zones. Not much defensive structure to this one as everyone's looking to attack. From the left side, they gain the zone. Puts it in deep. Vancouver's got the puck in the defensive end. The Canucks carry it along the wall. Huge steal in his own end. Moves the puck. Sissons brings it in. The Predators scoop it up along the boards. Locks it down in front. Puck picked up by Friedman. Hugs the boards through the neutral zone. Sends it into the offensive zone. Moves it to Miller. Well, there's not much time here before the goaltender's eyes are taken away, James, and he drops into that butterfly position. All you want to do when you can't see the puck is make yourself as big as possible, but this one has seeing eyes from traffic and finds the back of the net. The Canucks find exactly what they were looking for, a goal here late in the third. And this is why your big players, your star players, get paid the big bucks to deliver at the end of the game, and this is going to be a nail butter, James, as you can feel the energy on both sides. Jumps the puck in. Hughes works the puck in his own zone. Into the offensive end now. Here's a shot. Wow, what a stop by Seros. The Canucks still trail in this third period despite numerous scoring opportunities. Novak's won the draw deep in the defensive zone. The Predators take it across the line. Turns it aside with the glove. And they'll get a breather as the goaltender covers it up. Officials ready to drop the puck and get things back underway. Novak's won the faceoff, and now let's see what they can do. Jostling for the puck, and it's knocked away. Nashville's gained possession along the boards. Puck said down the ice. We'll get an icing. This is a face-off. They'll definitely want to win here inside the offensive zone. The Predators win the draw here in their own end. Great reach with the puck check. Big stop by the goaltender right in front. Well, these are the saves when you know that your goaltender is dialed in, James. The ability to get to the top of the crease and be square to the shooter, that's a great save. O'Reilly's won the faceoff. Now a quick pass to Nyquist. Takes the feed from the left side. Stoppage in play, offside the call. come up with possession after that neutral zone draw. Makes a save, cool and calm under pressure. And does it again. And they'll cover it up, forcing a stoppage in play. A big face off here inside the offensive end. And they take possession here in the offensive zone and time to go on the attack. Slides the puck to Suter. Oh, love the defensive stick work there to poke that one away. The Predators will play it from the defensive zone. Nashville's through center and now in the offensive end. We got a stoppage. Let's get the call. 
Well, the coach isn't going to be happy with this penalty. You have a one goal lead, and now you find yourself back on your heels, and the penalty kill has to come out and do a job. Let's get our third member of the broadcast team back in here, our own Carlin Babe. What you got going on? Yossi's the player I think had the edge in tonight's matchup, guys. The deciding factor for me was the difference in points between the players we highlighted earlier. He obviously had more offense in tonight's game. Takes a spill onto the ice and loses the puck. And the puck clears the zone. Tries to get this man advantage going from their own end now. From the point, they take control of it. This is what you call having a nose for the net. You take the initial shot and you get back to the front of the net for your own rebound. That's a great tenacious goal. The Canucks' last goal, Cheryl. It is massive, isn't it? And the timing is impeccable. Right at the end of the game, you find a way to get the equalizer. And this really puts the opponent on their heels. It tightens up their stick. So they have to attack and find a way to get to the net. Good stand up hit on the play. Shot with the stop. Nashville's got the puck along the boards. Taken along the wall by McDonough. Here's a short pass to Nyfist. Loves the puck into the corner of the offensive zone. Quick pass to Sissons. Oh, what a stop at the court by Demko. A big draw looming here in the offensive zone. Miller's won the draw inside his own end. McKayev's gained the line and on the attack. Oh, he gets a little piece of it and keeps it out of the net. Puck sent over to Trenton. To his teammate. Great stop by Demko. A timely save is everything to your team. And this goaltender, he bails his team out. A lot on the line here in this offensive zone faceoff. Nashville's won the faceoff. Cut grab by Sissons. And a good save on the play as action continues. Oh, oh, stops again. Lee's out battling his opponent right now. He is so dialed in, he's trapping the puck, making save after save. It's about time this team starts working in front of him. And they continue to fight for that puck along the wall. Nashville's got the puck. Quick feed to Yossi. Slides the puck over. There's the whistle. We've got an offside. The setters will glide into the dot. This one's still up for grabs as we approach the final minute. And he takes the pass. Moves it quickly over to Favreau. Vancouver's got possession of the puck. Slick feed. Hoaglander's gonna play it against the half wall. And that's intercepted by Yossi. Nashville's across the blue line. Shot. Great stop by the goaltender off the glove. Vancouver's got it in the wrong zone. That's moved up ahead. Here's a great use of the stick right there to poke it away. Moves it to O'Reilly. Hard hit, frees up the puck. And a stick breaks that up. Well, we played three periods of regulation hockey and still no winner. So what do we do? We go to overtime. It's sudden death style. Will there be a hero? We'll find out next. Puck along the 
Oh, a solid heads up play to knock it down. And now he moves it quickly to O'Reilly. There's the whistle as the play was offside. Centers glide into the dots. We're ready to get things back going again. The Predators take possession after that neutral zone faceoff. Vancouver's got a hold of it along the wall. And it's a quick pass to Miller. And he slides it quickly to Besser. Receives the pass. Nyquist already got three points in this game, James. Really leading the way offensively. And you have to wonder how many more he's going to get if he continues to handle the puck the way he is. Looks to set up at the point now. Here's the shot. And he stakes that one with the gloves. Well, he gets a great read on that wrist shot, James. And sometimes it can be difficult because with a quick release, the shot can be disguised. But he does a great job of getting in front of it and making the save. And a nice save there as play continues.